Well, now in its 29th year, the world of wearable art, or WOW, is a combination of international design competition inside a spectacular stage production. To tell us more about New Zealand's single largest theatrical production and what's in store for audiences this year, please welcome to the cafe the show's director, Kip Chapman. Welcome. Thanks for having me. It is so great to have you here. I mean, congratulations too on the gig. I mean, it's, it's pretty huge. For anyone who's not sure about what WOW is, can you describe it for us? WOW is one of the most amazing theatre productions in New Zealand. The scale of it is absolutely enormous. 60,000 people come and see an art awards show of over 100 garments of them from all around the world. And it's absolutely mind-blowing. It is absolutely mind-blowing. I've been and we can see these shots on screen at the moment. Are these professional people that make all these designs? They're from all walks of life. We have some extraordinary designers, designers who have um, designed for Gaga and Beyonce, but we also have designers who work on the West Coast. They might be a plumber. And wow. at night, they hunker down for 30 weeks a year and come up with extraordinary garments. And some of those are the winners. I think I saw one of those when I went one year, and it was absolutely fascinating. And he was. He was literally from the West Coast, and he was a carpenter or a builder or something, and did this incredible design. And I love that. It's, it's open to anybody, anybody with an imagination, with creativity, with passion, and someone who's prepared to put aside their normal lives to make something extraordinary. Mm. So what about specific categories? I mean, what do the judges look for? Well, there are six uh, categories this year. We've got Aotearoa, avant-garde, which is all about fashion and that's, showing that's off. It's like crazy stuff. Mm. We've got sci-fi this year. And for this year, for the show that we're going to make, it's going to be the biggest section of the whole show and just wild, dirty, dystopian. Wow. We've got UV section, which is always super fun, and the audience absolutely love that one. We've got red which is what I'm really excited about this year. Whereas fashion's all about what's on the outside, red's all about what's on the inside, that fire that burns within. Yeah. And then our open section, which is just the wildest, most creative section around. It's, it seems like the sky's the limit, but are there any restrictions on garments? There are no restrictions on, on garments. It's up, the only restriction is the artist's imagination. So you can actually go quite crazy. Do they have to well, make it all themselves? You have to go quite crazy. You're not going to win it if you're not going to go crazy. Well, that's true. Think crazy and then go another level above it. Do they have to make it all themselves? They have to make it all themselves. And, and what is really celebrated is um, how skilled they are. Because it's not just about the imagination. It's also about how well they make it. And some of these artworks are absolutely brilliantly made. And the can, technical skill is just extraordinary. Yeah, we can see them there. I know this might be asking you to choose a favourite child, but have you had any favourite garments? Well, look, my job as a director is to create six extraordinary worlds for these garments to live within. And often after the judging um, process, during the judging process, lots of people have come up to me and said, which one's your favourite, which one's your favourite? And I'm like, you know what? My job is like the parent. My job is to say, I love them all <laughs> individually. And I'm going to give them all a chance to shine. Then it's up for the audience to choose which is their favourite, and for the judges <laughs> ultimately. Diplomatic. You've just got to make I'm these. Very, I'm like a good parent. You've got to make these incredible, <laughs> incredible displays and shows. So no pressure there. So what are the prizes up for grabs? This year, there's over $165,000 uh, worth of prizes wow. available. Yeah. Plus, there's a scholarship to Cirque du Soleil oh, that'd be cool. and to Weta Workshop. Wow. So, so some of the opportunities are absolutely incredible yeah. for these artists. Now we've actually got Sophie here too, who's wearing yes. one of the garments. What is Sophie wearing? Who's this by and, and what's the name of it? This was a character costume. So this featured in the show that the garments were surrounded in. It was in the 2015 show. It was in the avant-garde section and we created this wild, dystopian, gypsy-like underground yeah. world that these garments existed within. And she wears it so well. Look at the attitude in that garment. Sophie is one of our best models, and in fact, you, I believe, wore one of the winning garments. Is I that right? Diva's Dreamscape in 2015, designed by Peter Wakeman. Oh, that must be a cool feeling to, to, to wear that. Yeah. Um, it's quite a phenomenal show, really, because, I mean, you obviously, as the awards director, you've done a few shows. You've got a few under you about that bloody woman at the moment, Hudson and Halls, mm -hmm. Apollo 13. Um, but you've got to do all of this with no dialogue. I mean, how do you even go about starting it? Well, first of all, I've got a phenomenal team who I work within, and all of those people, many of them have done it before, and so they've been able to help me and inspire me. They've got you back like a jacket. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. 
But it's been a great challenge um, creatively to not work with dialogue. I work with dialogue a lot. And just to try to imagine six extraordinary worlds mm. for these garments to live within. What's the overall vision for the show this year? Well, WOW is always eclectic. WOW is all about people coming along and being blown away by all these different different worlds. But what I've tried to do this year is create a story. And what I'm interested in is the idea is we as adults, we just get so caught up in adult life, we forget what it was like to be a child, to have imagination, passion and mm. creativity. And so the story I'm telling this year is about a woman, like all of us, stuck in an adult world and she gets visited by her 10 year old self. And the 10 year old self, with all of these garments, reminds this woman what it was like to have creativity, passion. Oh, and love it. That sounds perfect. Yeah. That sounds really good. You've got me really fired up. Well, good luck with it. Thank you. Uh, it sounds good anyway. You've, you've, you've sold it very well to us. Uh, WOW opens in Wellington on September the 21st through to October the 8th. For more details, head along to their website, worldofwearablearts.com.